And now for our feature presentation. Sun Medical Society Chairman Dr. Masood Akhtar Sheikh said that this advocacy seminar on dengue is part of the ongoing dengue awareness drive started by Pakistan Medical Society, during which seminars have been planned to create public awareness. He said that emphasis for dengue prevention and dengue hemorrhagic fever. Residents are responsible for keeping their yards and patios free of standing water where the mosquito can produce. Dr. Masood Sheikh said that younger children and those with the first dengue infection have a milder illness than the older children and adults. But if they feel worse, for example, they develop vomiting and severe abdominal pain in the first 24 hours after the fever decline, they should go immediately to the hospital for evaluation to lay her egg, primarily artificial containers that hold water. Items that collect rainwater or store water, for example, plastic containers, drums, buckets, or used automobile tires should be covered or properly discarded. Pet and animal watering containers and grasses with fresh water flowers should be emptied and cleaned to remove eggs at least once a week. This eliminates the mosquito eggs and larvae and reduces the number of the mosquito present in these areas. Dr. Masood Sheikh said that published data are limited on the health outcomes associated with the dengue infections among pregnant women and the effect of the maternal dengue infection on developing feeders. Transplacental transfer of maternal anti-dengue antibodies from a previous maternal infection may place infant at greater risk for DHF with the first dengue infection. Registrar King Edward Medical University, Professor Dr. Mahmoud Shokar said that peak biting activity for the vector of dengue is during daylight hours. Avoiding the outdoor or focusing preventive actions during peak hours may reduce risk. Wearing long sleeve shirts, long pants, boots and hats, tuckling in shirts and wearing socks and clothes shoes instead of sandals may reduce up to clear room or areas of mosquito. Professor Memo Chokas added that transmission occurs from the bite of an infective Aedes aegypti after the virus replicate for 8 to 12 days in the mosquito. The mosquito can then transmit then virus, then virus to many other people. Direct person-to-person -person transmission has not been documented. It may be so severe as to require narcotics. Aspirin, aspirin-containing drugs and other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs should be avoided because their anticoagulant properties can enhance. The Vice Chancellor of Lahore College for Women University, Professor Dr. Bishra Mateen said that such advocacy seminars goes a long way for creating public awareness and help to control the disease in a better way. Dr. Tasneem Farasat and Dr. Farkhanda also addressed the first Provincial Dengue Awareness Seminar.